I do want to ask you too, uh, you've noticed this uh, through several science articles if you peruse around the internet, but they seem to be so behind um, uh, many of these science sites. Um, I see very few that are up to date at all, like the missing link talk lately. Oh. Um, there's Australopithecus, a different uh, version was dis uh, a different species was discovered um, this year, and they're always talking about a missing link that, or that this is the new Lucy, or what have you. We're all and links. It's, it's, We're all yeah, links. They're all part of the same linkage. And the thing is, is that I have seen these articles sometimes word for word uh, reprinted over a five year period. Uh, what was it that, that I was? Uh, would piss me off, so I finally just muted the word out of my Google search. And I think it was dark matter. Yeah. Every every week or so, they discovered uh, what dark matter is, and, and they finally know what dark matter was. So I, I was sick of reading that. And the missing link thing is an, another thing that uh, uh, raises my ire because they're never going to be to find the one perfect link that uh, that that binds us. They'll know more about our evolution. But I, I get sick of this one missing link talk, and well, I'm particularly yeah. tired of how they take these articles and then reuse them over a five to ten year period. Yeah, uh, dark matter is the thing that gets to me because it's like they haven't shown or not proven dark matter. They've shown the effects of dark matter. There's a thing called modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, that explains a lot as well and some better than uh, so-called dark matter. Uh, it wouldn't shock, and, I, and again, again, I've argued with scientists on social media and, and whatnot, is, is that, you know, mathematics is not, is not a part of the cosmos. Mathematics is a language that we use to describe the cosmos. And I can very easily imagine if there's other intelligences out there that are at our level above, that their view of the universe through different sensory organs they they would have a, a mathematics totally. They might look at at uh, let's say they they have astronomy or something compare, comparable to astronomy, and they know about the basic structure of matter and and the universe. They might have something that uh, they might have a sensory organ that's evolved that we have no clue about, and they may may see order in the in the in the cosmos and see it much more simply than we do and better than we do because maybe they're a million years ahead of us in evolution. Uh, uh, evolutionary terms with these different organs. Um, and I, I'm just, the, the anthropocentrism of, of human beings is something that we really find very difficult to get beyond. Uh, and when I say we as a, a society and as individuals, um, I always fight against it. Um, you know, uh, I do it when I talk, for example, about animals like my cats. I call them he and she, they have sexes. They're not it's. An it is a rock. A rock is an it. You know, uh, uh, a, pl a plastic toy is an it. Uh, my plate that I eat a sandwich from is an it. A, a dog or a cat or, uh, you know, any kind of animal is either he, you know, he or she. Or intergen intersex rather than... <laughs> You know, I don't even get off on a lot of that nonsense that just goes gender fluid. Yeah, you know, uh, the, these whole these whole things, and and the, but the one thing I will say, the gender fluid stuff reminds me of a Bob Grumman. These are people who don't have anything else in their life, and you know, I don't care. I don't care that you're gay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me stop. Let me just stop. Did he say that he was gender fluid? Who? He was a good actor once, at least. Who? Billy Dee Williams. He's gender fluid. Oh, I don't know. But uh, the, the 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 thing the thing is is these people don't have anything to hang their hats on. No accomplishments. No intellectual ability. And so. We're going to be proud that with this. It's like you know, I don't care that someone uh, thinks that they're they're uh, the opposite sex and they were born in, uh, uh, or they're they're interested. I don't care that you're gay. I don't care that this person uh, has this viewpoint or whatnot. As long as they're not fucking around and fucking people over, but uh, people will hang their hats on these things that are totally subjective, totally totally within their own solipsistic view of themselves and the cosmos so that no one can criticize them. Well, fine. You don't want criticism. Don't interact with people. If you're not if you're not willing to get criticized, don't interact. I'm plenty open to criticism. 
But people get angry if I criticize back or I defend something that I've stated or whatnot. And and this this again gets to the anthropocentrism, the solipsism of the species and the self that we are a part of. And hopefully, 100, 200 years from now, when we've put uh, the global warming crisis behind us and we have colonies on the moon and Mars and maybe on some of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons, and we are about to take our first step, steps beyond the solar system as a species, hopefully by then we'll grown up and we won't worry about this shit. And we won't worry about stupid shit like religion and all this stuff that, that confines us and, and, and people let define themselves. I mean, you know, it's just, it's, uh, you know, it, it's just so much of life is such bullshit. You know, I was thinking, you know, I'm going to be 55 in a little over a month, about a month and a half. Uh, and, uh, I will have then, since working since six, worked almost 50 fucking years doing stuff, work, make, trying to make money just to survive. There's something wrong in a society. And I'm by far, my, by no means, my wife and I don't live paycheck to paycheck because we save for things and save for rainy days. But we're not, we're not rich. You know, uh, if we didn't have medical insurance and Jessica got a lump on her breast or something, we could be wiped out, you know, for a few hundred thousand or whatnot, what it would cost for a, a surgery in two days in a hospital. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's ridiculous that I have spent such an inordinate amount of time uh, having to do all this shit even now. Uh, and how much better would I be as a person? How much more quickly would I have evolved? How much more great stuff would I have put out if there had been someone who was able to say, wow, this kid, even when he was just three or four years into my poetry writing, this kid can do things other people can't. We have to get, we have to encourage him. And say to the Bob Grummans, you don't have it. Stop wasting your, that guy, he was 24 years older than me. He died when he was 72 and I was 48, I think. So he's, it's been six plus years since he's died. What a waste of this guy's life. What, and he was, he was one of these people who, who worked as a, a replacement teacher, not a replacement teacher, a substitute teacher at different school, schools and whatnot. And I can just imagine the way he was made fun of by the kids. Because, I mean, he looked like an idiot. He, he did, I still remember this video of him just going, blah, 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 acting crazy. Uh, and, and, and then I mentioned the, this guy, Lies. I am, uh, who reminded me of uh, a dishwasher that I worked with. Oh, yeah. who eventually went and tried to uh, shoot some people at a, a local restaurant. And he sort of had that same off quality to him. I think I didn't see the video where he's going, blah, blah, but I heard him speak. Yeah. And I, I saw his facial expressions and he had something uh, clearly wrong with him. Yeah. And he, he spent, I don't think he ever married. And I, I may be wrong. It wouldn't shock me if he, or I mentioned that fat guy, Lyle Daggett, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't surprise me if either of them were 70, or Lyle was a 60 something year old virgin, you know, uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me. There are those people that are these social losers, outcasts, unless they paid for hookers or whatnot. But I don't, I don't think Lyle would have been, and Bob Grumman would probably have scared off most hookers. Um, uh, but you know, these, these people, they, they just, it, 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 it's sad in one way, but on, on the other hand, you have to be, you know, recognize things. Here, let me just end here. We're at about 27 minutes. I want to end this. Yes, I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay.